Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond and in this video I'm going to do an unboxing of the G.I. Joe deck building game by Renegade Game Studio along with the bonus pack number one. Now before I open them up I'd like to point you towards my Patreon page because if you'd like to support what I do you can do so for as little as just one dollar a month or more and that will get you your name in the credits of my videos early access and also access to some Patreon exclusive videos. And that's of course, greatly appreciated. All right, let's open up the box and see what's inside. Okay, here it is. G.I. Joe, the deck building game by T.C. Petty III and Renegade Game Studios. Nice art on the cover there with the Cobra Commander, the Baroness, Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, uh, Duke, uh, I think that's Roadblock, I forget all the names, Hawk, Lady J, <laughs> that's pretty cool, Scarlet, and all the we the, the machines and the, the, the vehicles from the cartoons, Destro, Zartan, well, that's really cool, I used to have lots of G.I. Joe action figures as a kid. I loved it. <laughs> G.I. Joe and Transformers. And uh, on the side, some nice art. So continuation, Not kind of. No, it doesn't, it doesn't continue the art, but uh, that does look really cool if you want to store your box vertically. And more art on the other side. You got the Joes on this side and the, the Cobras on the other. <laughs> and this is on the bottom. And the top, same thing, Dr. Mindbender. <laughs> and on the back, you can see how the game is set up. Some more art, some text, and the contents are listed here. It's a game for ages 13 and up, one to four players, which plays about 30 to 70 minutes. All right, let's open it up. Okay. So first of all, here is the rule book. There's also a role-playing game. There's a little leaflet here for the G.I. Joe role-playing game. That's pretty cool. So if you are into that, go and check it out. And there's a Transformers deck building game as well. <laughs> that is super awesome. Basically, probably kind of the same, just a different IP. And here is the rule book. Nice art on the cover there as well. All right, let's just quickly browse through. So we got the contents, story packs, the goal of the game, the basic setup. You can have stories that you can set up. The rules, how to play, the sequence of your turn, action phase, card types, how that works, missions, Successes and failures, some examples, how the mission ends, end of phase, end of round, end of the act, and several miscellaneous rules, and a glossary. All right, some cards are clarified as well. Two player and solo rules, and an expert mode as well. You can actually have some achievements here. That's pretty cool. And here is a summary of the rules, which is handy to keep nearby as a reference if you need it. Right, there's a punch board here with the hanger already. Everything punches really easily. So I'll just punch that out. Right, let's just take a look at that. We have end of the round token for solo, I guess. So you can flip that over every time. We have some Cobra tokens, these bursts. Failure and success tokens, they are double-sided. So we have those. We have this hanger tile. We have a reserve tile. All right, is this double-sided? Nope. And we have this Cobra track. That looks pretty cool, nice and thematic. It's even double-sided. All right, cool. 
Then we've got plenty of cards, of course, and some really cool dice. Look at that, and army green. And let's see, they have this, uh, this star on them. Then we have a double star, one, two, three regular circles, and another star. So two of these and one of these. All right, that's pretty cool. We got eight of those dice. And as you can see, the insert is already made, so you can sort your cards and put them in here vertically, uh, presumably even with uh, um, sleeves, because it is a deck builder game. You, you're gonna wanna sleeve them. And there is plenty of room here uh, to sleeve those. So yeah, you can, you can put your cards in here, just divide them up and then keep your dice and your few tokens that you have in here perhaps. And uh, this is a slot for these cards, which I will take a look at first. All right, so these are really nice and shiny, a bit, a bit slippery. <laughs> and they have uh, mission two, and mission one in white and red. And both of those missions have three acts, it seems, or chapters, so the one, two, and three uh, numbers on the backs there. Same for these. So we have those, let's take a look at those. So I'm not gonna go through all of them in detail, but just so you have an idea, look at that art, really cool comic book artwork. Uncovered the double agent. Success and failure. Protect the satellite. Prevent the satellite launch. Find the tracking device, etc. Ah, look, it's cool. <laughs> really liking the artwork here. All those different Joe and Cobra characters. <laughs> nice. Cobra Commander. Zartan. Zartan in disguise. <laughs> that was one of my favorite characters. Nice. All right, so those are the mission cards. And then we have these, let's open up this pack. Okay, so we have here a uh, reference card with the turn sequences on it. And on the back, uh, different missions, success and failure. So we one, two, three, four of those. So one for each player, if you're playing a four player game, all right. Now with expert mode, so these are the expert mode cards, I guess. Obey Cobra <laughs> and the regular Jai Joe back for all the other cards. So let's take a look. Here is all the characters. Some are really cool. Lightfoot, Lift Ticket, Beachhead, Leather Neck, <laughs> Alpine, Cutter, Deep Six, Torpedo, Tunnel Rat. Spirit and Freedom, yeah, with the with the the hawk, that was super cool. Stalker, Rock and Roll, Wild Bill, <laughs> yeah, Cover Girl. It's, it seems they have different kinds of artists as well, different art styles, but all very comic book like and really cool. Hawk. We got machines in you know, these these vehicles. Vamp, the Aw Striker, the Ram. The APC, the Tomahawk, the XP-14F, Sky Striker, Skyhawk, the Killer Whale, that was cool, that thing, <laughs> Shark, and then we have some other cards, some utility cards, Inspiration, Disarm, All In, Reinforcements, nice. Knowing is half the battle. One of those messages you get at the end of, uh, <laughs> even with the camera, at the end of each episode. <laughs> it's so cool. You have some gear. Cool. Tranquilizer dart, detonator, scuba gear, 
Scarlet. Okay, so this is again a promoted leader. Okay, cool. Yeah. Snake Eyes, nice. Duke, Lady J, Roblox, Flint, right, Flint, yeah. And then the expert mode cards, which has different things that happen apparently to make it more difficult. Okay, nice. So I have those, I'll sort those out later. I guess <laughs> let's take a look at these. So these are more Joe cards for the deck building. And then we have some Obey Cobra cards and complication cards. So let me just check these Joe cards out first. There's the Cobra, the Cobra guys, Cobra Troopers. Okay. All side missions. Are they all the same? No, it doesn't look like, looks like they are all the same. Yeah. So we have those. Then we have some starter cards, right? Of course, you, deck builder always have starter cards, comms, diffuse, all right? So we have those. Put that in these slots and then, oh wait, wait, we still have these. We have the Obey Cobra cards. Oh, nice, Cobra Commander with the, with the hood. I had an action figure of that one. Destro, the Baroness, Dr. Mindbender, Zartan, again, <laughs> Major Blood, Storm Shadow, Cobra Battalion. Okay, so we have those. And then we have these complication cards. Major Blood appears. The Hiss tank attack, really cool. This guy, yeah, I have one of these too, uh, action figures. <laughs> These advanced troopers. The Rattler. Underwater entrance captured. Don't tell me the odds. <laughs> Destro. Overwhelming force, yeah, with these robots. Those were cool. I really love the art. It's like every card has different art. Super cool. All right. Oh, so there's those. And then finally this package. And again, these are more of these blue Joe cards. So starter cards again, second effort. So we have that. We have some GI, some standard GI's starter cards as well. We have these Joes. It's just your regular grunts that you start out with. All right. Then we have some basic weapons, I guess. Surface, surface rifle. And we have some more Joes. Scarlet, Snake Eyes. So we have the advanced leaders, the promoted ones, and the regular ones. Duke. Lady J again. I like the art. The different roadblock, Flint, barbecue. Yeah, <laughs> shipwreck and Polly. This guy shipwreck. I have that one too <laughs> with Polly. Ace, muskrat, low light, zap, mainframe, clutch, ripcord, and Jinx. Cool. I don't remember Jinx. Nice. All right. So I guess that was uh, all the cards here. So I'll uh, sort those out and uh, put them all in their own slots and uh, probably sleeve them as well. And so you can put the bigger parts, I guess, on top of this, like, like so. And then you can just put all the, the tokens. There's not that many in there. And there you go. And here we got a bonus box, which I guess is an add-on, which has a, let me bring that up a bit closer here, a constructible hanger, alternate round marker, and new cards, with Don Marino art, I guess. Well, that's pretty nice. So let's open that up and see what those are. So yeah, that's it. It's 
not a whole lot in there. So we have this constructible hanger. So you can actually, oh, right, you can actually make card box out of that, I guess. Oh, that's pretty nice. Let's take a look at that. So yeah, <laughs> there it is. You have an actual 3D hanger that you can put down on the table. And uh, here's the, the alternate token. So we have that. Let's take a look at these cards. Right, so Don Marino is actually a character. I thought that was the, you know, alternate artist. <laughs> but that is a character, so it's like she's she's got the same armor that Snake Eyes has. The leader and a promoted leader card. So that's what you get in that pack. Basically one new leader with the promoted version of that card, an alternate token and this 3D hanger. Let's see if that fits in the core box somehow. No, I, I guess it doesn't. I mean, you can of course put these in here. That's no problem, but the hanger will not fit here. Could have, this was bigger, <laughs> but it doesn't. So if you want to keep this constructed, you know, like, like this together in the core box, you're gonna have to build your own insert, which I might do. <laughs> Cause I think this is pretty, pretty neat idea. You know, have that hangar and then have the the vehicles. Well, you know, that's uh, here's a vehicle. We'll put that in there. You know, and I have several of those. I don't know if this is how it works, but uh, that is actually pretty cool. All right. And that's that. So that was my unboxing of G.I. Joe, the deck building game by Renegade Game Studios. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And please do check out my Patreon page. Your support is very much appreciated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven. Mm -hmm.